Hello and welcome to Pipe Cleaner Hyacinth Tutorial. My name is Heather and I'm with the Byron Public Library and I'm going to be walking you through this craft today. These are what our hyacinths are going to look like when we're done. Can I give you an idea of our finished product? And then in the kit that you picked up at the library, you'll want to pull out your purple and your green pipe cleaner. Now what helps with this one is if you have a pen, a pencil, um, you could use a paintbrush, a knitting needle. I'm going to use a paintbrush here, but basically you just need something that's going to help support the flower as we make it. So you're going to take your green pipe cleaner. This is going to be your stem. Line it up there with your the tool that you're using, pencil, pen. Um, in my case, it's I'm just going to use a paintbrush. And then we're going to take our purple pipe cleaner and we're going to start down about two inches or so and we're going to wrap the purple around the green and the tool that you're using. So then we're just going to wrap it and we're going to keep wrapping. Every once in a while you can kind of squish them together there. Remember we don't need it to be perfect. It's going to look more like a real flower with imperfections. But we're just going to wrap this around and around. And then every once in a while you can kind of squish them together. And we're going to wrap it using the entire purple pipe cleaner. And squish them together. Now the reason that we're using a tool with this is not only does it help support it as we are winding it around, but it also tapers at the end. So that's one thing that we want to focus on is that it's a little bit fuller at the bottom and it's going to get thinner and thinner as it goes to the end. So once we get pretty close to our end here, you should have enough wiggle room that you can pull out the tool that you've been using and then continue with wrapping it around. And we're focusing on making it narrower at the tip of the flower. We just wrap it around a few times. Now the idea here is to cover up the green. If you happen to have a little bit at the end, you can always snip that off. Um, and then we'll scoot the purple together. So this is going to be your final shape. And again, it's great to work with the pipe cleaner because it is so forgiving. So if you need to redo it, reshape it, you can totally do that at any time. This is going to be your shape. Now included with your kit, you'll find a pot and some filling. So you're going to Proceed doing this for three times. You're going to have end up with a bouquet of three hyacinths. And you can, because this is going to be long, like too long for the little pot, you can bend it. You don't have to cut it at all, but you can bend and create a leaf with the bottom part of the green pipe cleaner. Now hyacinths have long pointy leaves. So you kind of want to mimic that shape. And I did provide in the kit uh, an extra couple of green pieces that you could do more leaves once you get everything planted in the pot. But again, think kind of long and pointy. So you'll go ahead and plant these in the pot that we provided. Once you get them, you know, the way that you want them in there, then you'll add the filler. So it'll look just like a potted plant. And what's so nice about these is that it's quick, it's easy, it's fun, but it's also a beautiful product at the end. So you could definitely give it to someone as a gift. We hope that you had fun with us today. Um, we would love to see your final products. So if you look at the paperwork that's inside your kit, there will be instructions on how to send us a picture. So once you're all done and you have it in the spot that you want, snap a picture and send it to us. We would love to see your final products. Thank you again for joining us. We hope you had fun and we can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.